I'm gonna tell you nine different ways that you can generate more watch time. I call it a watch time trap, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so what is a watch time trap? A watch time trap is basically to where when somebody goes to your YouTube channel, then you basically create all of these different possibilities, all these different places, all these different things that you can do in order to get them to watch more of your content so that you can increase the amount of watch time or your overall authority on your channel because watch time is the most important thing on YouTube. Well, after they click on your thumbnail and they actually start watching your video, of course. So one of the things that you can do to generate more watch time on your channel is to build your content out in playlists and you make those playlist series playlists. And the reason for this is, if you're making videos that are all directly related to each other, then what's gonna happen is when somebody comes in and they watch one video, you're drastically increasing the chances of them watching another one of your videos. Amplify that and let's say that you create five, six, seven videos that are all directly related to each other, which means that they're all directly related to the interest that the people came into your videos to watch in the first place. Not only is syncing up the content in that way, not only is that going to generate more watch time just because you're tapping into the interest set of the actual viewer, but you're also going to increase your chances of YouTube showing more of your content to that particular viewer. Here's what I mean. YouTube publicly says that if you have a playlist and you mark that playlist as a series playlist, that if somebody watches one of the videos that are in that series playlist, YouTube is more likely to show the other videos in that playlist to the same viewer in the recommended column. They're also more likely to show up as the autoplay, which basically means the next video that's going to automatically play after they finish watching one of the other videos in the playlist. So as you can see, building your content into blocks and then marking those blocks of content as series playlists can be extremely beneficial just by itself. So one thing that's really important when you're thinking of how you're going to start putting out your content, you're thinking of the next handful of videos that you're gonna make, think of them instead of thinking, okay, well, I'm gonna make one video about one particular topic. What group of videos can I make so that they're all directly related to each other so that I can make my next five videos in some way related to each other so that I can put them into a series playlist so that I can increase the likelihood of more people watching more of the content that they came in to watch in the first place. And I'm increasing the likelihood of YouTube showing my content to the people that are coming in and watching on those specific topics. Whew, that was a lot. I didn't know if I was gonna make it through that one. <laughs> Next up is to add relevant playlist links or relevant video links down in your description in all of your videos. The reason that you wanna do this is because a lot of people will say, well, nobody even reads the descriptions in the first place, but I've got a bunch of affiliate links and a bunch of playlist links that have generated tons of watch time that say otherwise. Here's the thing, we all use YouTube in different ways, right? Some people, they'll hit a channel page and they'll just scroll down the page. Other people will hit the channel page, go straight to the videos to see what people are making because they wanna see things in order, right? Some people, you know, we just all do it in a different way. We, we all have our preference of how we navigate the platform. Some people look at descriptions, other people don't. But what you wanna do is you wanna create those advantages for yourself for the people that do go down to the descriptions to see other information about the videos you're making. Those are the people that you're putting those description links down there for. Basically, you wanna make sure that whatever you're linking to is relevant to the specific video that they happen to be watching at that time. And if it's relevant, then you're increasing the likelihood of them clicking on one of your description links. Okay, so to tally this up, right now, just on your watch page alone, we've increased your ability to generate more viewers and more watch time by two. So so we've added your description links and then we've also made sure that you're making the content in series so that YouTube is also more likely to recommend you in the sidebar or have you in the autoplay feature. So right there, we've increased it by two. Next up on the list is make sure that you're pinning your comments. Make sure that you are pinning comments that are linking to other playlists or other relevant videos. So the reason for this one is also because as people are scrolling down, they see your video and then as they're scrolling down the page, they see that link to something that is directly relevant to their interest, then they're also more likely likely to click on that, go in and watch a playlist or at least another video that is related to the topic that they just enjoyed. Okay, so with that one, so far we are at three ways that we've increased your watch time just on your video watch page. Now here's some more. 
Next up, of course, is you wanna make sure that you're using cards in your videos. If you don't know what cards are, cards are the little things that pop up here. You can actually turn these on or use these when you're uploading your videos. If you've already got videos uploaded, then you can go into your video manager, go into the actual video settings itself, and then you'll see a little thing at the top of the screen that says cards. Click on that, that's where you add cards. So how you actually use those is basically you want to make sure, of course, that you're linking to something relevant to your video that they're watching in terms of their interest. You also wanna make sure that you're linking to something that makes sense for the video that you're doing. You YouTube recommends that you use cards in the last 20% of your video. And the reason for that is because basically at the front end of the video, you wanna make sure that you're getting all that watch time on that video before you send them off to watch something else. But another thing that you can do to make that video work for you in terms of generating more watch time is, let's say that you go into your video, your video has been online for you know a few weeks or a month or whatever, and you go into the analytics, into your audience retention reports, and you see that there's some big drop-offs, like, oh, for whatever reason, people are leaving in this part of my video, but it's already published, nothing I can do about it, right? Wrong. What you can do is you can go in and you can add cards to those drop-off points so that you can catch people just a few seconds before those drop-off points. You can catch people before they leave your video and send them deeper into your content. And YouTube even says that if you send users deeper into your content or deeper into the platform from your video, that video that you've sent them deeper through is more likely to get promoted elsewhere on the platform. So there's all kinds of win going on with this in terms of watch time, right? So the next thing you wanna do next thing on the list is of course you want to make sure that you're using playlists and linking to other videos in your end screens as well I mean I'm sure you know that one but just in case I do see people that are not using end screens make sure that you're also linking to videos and playlists in your end screens another thing that you can do that is extremely clever is another method to get people to watch more of your content this one has been named by Brian G Johnson as the ritual view handoff I absolutely love that name high five and fist bump to you Brian G for coming up with that one but this is what it is basically if somebody's watching your video at the end of your video, you verbally tell them, hey, you know, I just made another video about this. I have another video about this, a whole playlist about this, whatever. Check that video out right here, right? Then what you're doing is you're actually sending people to other videos. You're verbally telling people to go watch another video that's directly related to the interest that they have for watching the video that they're watching in the first place. And if they click and watch that video, even just for a little bit, boom, more views, more watch time. In addition to that, Brian also has a ton of additional content that as a content creator, you would actually absolutely love Brian G. Johnson if you're not familiar with him yet. I'll put a link to him at the top of the screen. So if you're not familiar with Brian yet, definitely click on his channel and go subscribe because you are going to absolutely love the content that he's putting out because he's trying to help you too. Next on the list, I'm not sure if you're counting or not, but I've lost count, but I know we're getting close. Next up on the list is to make series playlists that are extended series playlists. So as an example, let's say that I made a playlist about video editing on my channel. Well, an extended playlist would be something about making video graphics, right? So that as somebody gets through that editing playlist towards the end of that, I start handing off to the video graphics playlist because it's a great fit for those people that watch the video editing playlist. So what you're doing is you're taking that person who just completed a series, either they watched through the whole thing or they bookmarked it and came back to finish the series or whatever, and you're handing them off to something else that is directly related to them as well so that they can either watch their way through it or they can bookmark it and keep coming back later. This can be extremely powerful if you are a tutorial channel or if you're a gaming channel where you're taking people through a journey or if you're taking people on a real life journey, vloggers I'm talking to you. If you build this stuff out right, you can generate a lot of views and a lot of watch time through it. So it's really important that when you do think of making content that you don't think, okay, well, I'm just gonna make whatever, that you think of it in terms of, okay, well, how can I connect this content to this content? How can I make this video relevant to this video? How can I build this network or this web of videos that are directly related in some way or help take somebody through a process in some way. And real quick, before we get into these next ones, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Next up on the list is to add high performing playlists in terms of watch time to your channel page. That way, anybody that happens to watch a video, they go to your channel page, the videos that they're seeing, the videos that are being presented to them are the videos that perform best for you or the playlists that perform best for you in terms of watch time. Take this whole thing up a notch and have all of the different playlists that are on your channel page be those playlists that perform for you highest in terms of watch time. Next up on the list is any time that you happen to link into your channel. Let's say you share your channel on social media. Let's say that you have links in your website coming in. Make sure that you actually link to a playlist instead of just linking to a channel or one single video. And the reason for that is because again, you want them as they go in and they're interested in what's going on in your channel and in those specific videos that you're sharing to see other videos that are similar to the interest that they have that cause them to click on it in the first place. Okay, so in order to make this stuff 
stuff work for you on a high level. One thing that is also really important is that you also learn how to keep people watching your videos because people aren't watching your videos and they're not gonna be completing your playlist and things like that. And they're not gonna keep coming back because they're not gonna think it's good content and so on. So it's really important that as a part of all of this that you also make sure that you can keep people watching your videos. If you remember that ritual view handoff thing that I was talking about a little bit earlier, I'm gonna put a video right up here that you can go check out that's gonna help you learn how to make better videos for your YouTube channel so that you can keep people watching. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.